Hey guys! Hi, my name is Mzasa. My name is Sasana. We're similar. But not the same. And we're back with episode 2 of Transcendent. For those of you who didn't catch it previously, Transcendent means not limited or influenced by negative attitude, thoughts, or feelings. And we thought it was a perfectly fitting name for this series where we are doing physical activities that are pushing you or pushing us beyond the negative barriers that are brought about by our physical our physical state yes um so today we are going pole dancing <laughs> very very excited um nervous I'm but always very nervous. excited <laughs> yeah it's gonna be interesting um we hope you guys enjoy Because I think people have the, the view or the they're under the impression. 
make sure that you get ya. Yeah. And I'm going to ask you to go upside down immediately, you know. <laughs> it's going to be a while. You know? I obviously have some people, they, they have gymnastic background and then they progress really quickly. Because it's the same thing, you just off the floor, you know. Um, but yeah, you, you can be chill, but uh, we will be nice to you. <laughs> so, um, before we start, maybe can you give us some more exactly what you're doing today? What can I expect from this session? <laughs> so, we always do a good warm up because obviously, if you're not warm, you're going to hurt some muscles. And then uh, we will start with just um, getting you used to the pole, showing you which is um, you know, some of the techniques. And then I'll show you how to climb a pole and we'll do some basic things on the pole. The first lesson I always is very much like just getting you used to the pole, making you familiar with the pole, and like the movement around the pole and so on. And we're going to work on a static pole today because um, the pole can spin. Um, I put them on static though, I think they're all on static. Um, and, um, but you can loosen it and it actually spins. But I prefer to train people in the beginning on static because it teaches you the, it helps you with all the strength and you just can control the moves a lot better. Than the Perfect. So when you grab, you stand 
So, and the way you get the flow going is by combining them. So, you will 
going from for example we did find them in allergy so we are going to go from allergy to find them okay so we can find so our leg is open and then all we're going to do is close it behind okay so we're going to go attitude and then close behind
not there and squeeze, it's gonna be right under me and squeeze. You wanna think that your heel has touched your bum, all right? So I'm really activating, okay? Before it's gonna stay tight, my inside hand is gonna be high, my outside hand is gonna be like not too far under it. And then I'm gonna just squeeze and pull and try and make that position, okay? I don't really care how high you go, I just want you to feel the squeeze in the knee, all right? Then I'll show you a spin that goes sort of with that. Okay. Cool. My inside hand is high, like I go on my tippy toes so I can reach a bit higher. Here, my lats are going to activate on both sides, and I'm going to just go to the same in Okay. Now you're going to pull with your arms and just put your body behind the top. Oh. Oh. Okay. Wow. Yes, yes, yes. Nice. Okay. Now try and straighten the back. So this one looks very 
it gets a little behind me, I'll show you how it looks and then I'm going to break it up. This is not that difficult, it just looks very dark. So it's called the back of the sweat. Back at home, yeah, and <sighs> I'm actually tired. Me too. Um, but not in a bad too. way, not in a bad way, in a good way. Um, I can feel that my legs, <laughs> yeah, for yeah. me, it's more in my arms. I can, yeah, like over here, I can feel it, and I when I breathe out of it, I can feel it as well, mm. but not as much like right here. I'm tired. When, I was, when we were driving back and I was shifting the gear, trying to shift the gear, I was like, why are you sitting that on there? But um, all in all though, it was really great. It was like amazing. Um, <laughs> we're so tired. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Like, I'm so sorry. Um, but like all in all, like I've always wanted to try pole dancing mm -hmm. and like I'm not disappointed. Like it's not like oh it's not what I thought it would be. No, it's exactly what I thought it would be, and so much more. Mm -hmm. And like even though like she started us out on like beginner stuff, mm -hmm. and like it wasn't boring beginner beginner stuff. It was still like cool and like I didn't even think we were gonna make it off the ground today, honestly. Yeah, but the first thing we did, <laughs> she was like, up. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, it was very cool. It was really fun, and I like kind of just wanna definitely worth going go, back. yeah i want to go again and like get it right and like learn a new move and then the moves that i learned now and get them perfect and make them look pretty um but yeah no like definitely recommend going like go pole dancing it's Do it. worth the shot it's surprise um we we previously did rock climbing and how do i you you can compare the two in that you you are moving your body in ways that you're not used to, mm -hmm. right? And your goal while you're on the pole isn't necessarily to work out. So it doesn't feel like you're yeah. doing a workout until you're done afterwards. So that's also very nice. And once you actually do the things and you figure out the technique, you realize that um, it's, it motivates you to keep trying, right? You think that it's mostly you know about how strong you are 
but i do think it's a lot more about your technique like if you don't put your foot the right way no matter how strong you are you're, you're gonna, gonna struggle to get your your body up mm -hmm. i realized that you know you know that one the one yeah, we move yeah. when we have to like the one where we put our legs in front or the one where it was a leg there and then a leg at the back? The leg at the back. Okay. Um, I realized with that one, or the one where you do the step, where you step up, where oh, she was teaching us the step okay, okay. up. Yeah. Um, I, I was trying to pull, like I, I was trying to pull myself up and then I couldn't. But then the moment you, you, I put my leg the right way and I was actually listening to her and that it's like a, a mental step. You literally have to step up and you obviously when you step you're using your leg more than anything once i actually started doing it the way she was actually saying then mm. i realized oh, okay the arms are really just helping you bring yourself um, in obviously you point. do need a bit of strength to you but i mean i did it so can you well, i've got zero upper body strength zero all my strength is in my legs for me so I was pleasantly surprised that today went as well as it did. Well done, girl. You too, girl. Thanks, girl. Okay, Thanks, guys. guys. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, we really hope you guys all enjoyed. Um, we will be leaving all the details for the Artemis um, Whole, Academy. Whole Academy in the description. So you can check them out. Go try it out if you're in PE, obviously. I mean, if you're in Joe, there are other something. studios and other parts but, of. Yeah. But obviously, we ours was with Artemis Pro Academy. So, like, if you're in PE and you want to try it, please do it. And then you have, they have different packages. If you want to go for a day and try that out, you can go for a day. If you want to go commit to only three months, you can commit to only three months. So, you're not. You're not bound to a, a contract that you cannot um, commit to. You pick what suits you and what suits your schedule best, which I think is really great. It's flexible for you and your time. Also, you actually don't need anything. I think um, a lot of people feel like you probably need gear. You need to have certain specific clothes. You need to. You don't need anything. I mean, so you the can less just go. The better, actually. The so, less clothes, the better. <laughs> so if you're comfortable going, then you can. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, but you you don't need anything to start the sport, which I think is great. You don't have to hire out anything. any extra equipment, which I think is also very nice. And obviously, you I think this video showed that no matter your size, it's you're going to struggle with what you struggle with. You're going to get it right with what you get right. Mm. And I really, I, honestly, I didn't care what you were doing. I don't, I don't mean that in a bad way. But I, I just, didn't care about you. I, didn't, I don't know what you did most of the time. I'll have to watch this back and I also don't know figure what you it out, <laughs> which is cool. But I just heard, oh, well done. And then I look back. And I was like, for who? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, guys. Thanks, guys. Leave a like. Leave a, um, a comment. comment. Let us know what you guys want us to do so we can try and organize that for you. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, then yes. please subscribe. I'm so tired. I'm forgetting and all the things I'm supposed yeah. to say at the end. Yeah, and just like go tell your friends, man. Otherwise, you can follow us on IG as well. We never say this, but like you can follow us on IG if you don't. Um, and we'll see you guys next time. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Transcendent. Bye, guys. Thank <laughs> you.